Hi families, it's Sarah, one of the speech therapists at Racker. This week's theme is dinosaurs. Today, we will, we will be making and hatching dinosaur eggs. Please note that this is a two-part video. The first part is we will make the eggs, and then the second part is we will hatch the eggs. Let's go over the ingredients that are needed. You will need baking soda, one box of baking soda makes three dinosaur eggs. You will need vinegar, dish soap, a casserole dish or some other type of dish to hatch the eggs in, a quarter cup of water, Mixing bowls, dinosaurs, and what is optional is food coloring. You don't have to use food coloring, but if you do use food coloring to make the eggs colorful, you'll want to use gloves. All right, I think that is all of our materials and a plate to put the uh, eggs on. So we are going to make I already have green ones that are freezing in the freezer. Those will freeze for an hour. So now I'm going to make blue ones. So I'm going to pour my whole box of baking soda in. And it's important, while you're doing this activity with your child, you can be targeting vocabulary, such as all of the ingredients names, pouring, mixing, all that type of language uh, while you're making this activity is great. All right, so I learned while making the green ones, you're going to need to use probably about 20 to 30 drops of the color. Uh, this is a great time to have your child count, um, squeeze, you could say, wow, it's blue. So counting, if you have to use more drops, that's fine. All right, so I'm going to start mixing it. So again, an opportunity for you to say, we're mixing with our hands. So lots of um, opportunities to target language and make this a very language rich activity for you and your child. So it is starting to turn blue. And you can say to your child, it's turning blue, the powder's turning blue. It's turning into a Smurf color. Just have fun with it. Well, I'm gonna add some more drops. So again, an opportunity to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. could say that it's a light blue, or if you make it darker, it can be a dark blue. It matches the color of my gloves. All right, so I think that's a nice color blue for our eggs. All right, so it's all mixed. I wanna make sure it's all blue. So get the stuff on the bottom. All right. Now, you're going to want to add a quarter cup of water. This is good measuring practice with your child. I have a quarter cup and I have a cup of water so your child can pour you're pouring the water in. You might want to add a little bit more water. Uh, you kind of want to make it like a paste so it'll mold around the dinosaur, but you don't want it to be too crumbly. Uh, then it can be a little bit of a pain. Um, so you might have to add a little bit more water than a quarter cup, but just kind of feel it out and see. Um, so as you can see, it's kind of like a crumbly Play-Doh or I feel like it kind of feels like snow. So you're mixing, 
turning into a paste. So I'm gonna add just a, a touch more of water. And that's the good, uh, the reason that they are, uh, that the recipe suggested freezing the eggs. Um, I noticed with the green eggs, they were a little bit crumbly, uh, which might be hard to uh, keep them together. So freezing them is definitely going to help. All right, so I'm gonna pick a dinosaur out. We have like a good paste, um, as you can see, a nice molding, molding type of texture. So I'm gonna pick out. Oops, I'm gonna pick out a blue dinosaur, and you're gonna make a snowball around the dinosaur. So here you can cup your hands and mold it into a ball. That one came out nice. This one's a nice dinosaur egg. And just beware, it will make a bit of a mess. So. Be prepared so I will put the dinosaur egg on my plate I'm going to make three more or sorry two more uh, blue eggs I'm gonna stick them in the freezer for an hour and then I'll meet you back here to uh, hatch the green eggs and the blue eggs